Hello, it's me. You must recognize me as the girl who got all those facial piercings and passed out. Right? You recognize me, right? It's me. Duh. Well, I'm back with more facial modifications. This time we have <clears throat> close up of gore. We have um, half a lip ripped off by a dog. Also the nose, but that's hidden. And um, on the other side, I have an abscessed tooth, which I was going to get a root canal for before the dog changed my priorities. So I'm back with another imperative how-to video for your basic living needs. Now, I'm on a soft diet, obviously, but um, they gave me toast, so I've decided to uh, endeavor to eat everything that's here. I grabbed these straws because though they're illegal, that's silly and I need them. And uh, let's get to it. Let's see what we have here. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, can I switch the view? No, I can't switch the view. Okay, I lied. I already know what's in here. I already ate half of it because I had to try. Um, so we've got uh, some mashed potatoes, some slaw, some other colorful vegetables. There's not a lot left because I poured them down my gullet already. And some salmon. We get salmon here. <clears throat> this is the hospital in Prince George, BC, if, if you were wondering. And it's the best hospital I have now. And I'm going to throw the rest of the contents here. We have this milk. That'll be easy. We have this jello. Should be easy too. And go through a straw. We have this tea, which we're going to pour into a nice mug because we're not fucking savages. And uh, is that all? Oh, we've got the bread. I don't have video editing software. This has to be one take. It has to be good. <sighs> I don't deal so well with pressure. That's why this happened. The worst part is the food that gets stuck right behind this lip. And because I'm chewing on this side, because this tooth is not having it. So I have to chew on this side, which means a lot of the food rides up in the gums and then it starts edging its way towards the front there. And I tried to toothpick it, but toothpicks get stuck in these stitches and I've already been crying and laughing, and so I'm a little bit afraid of the stitches' integrity already, so I'm gonna try to do this right. Now, first, a toast to the dogs of the world who deserve better than us humans. <clears throat> well, I will open a straw and solve one problem in my life. Now the straw goes like this. Not this side, abscess tooth. It cannot handle hot, cold, sweet, or liquid. So, all right, tucked into the corner. Easy. And now, mashed potatoes, straw. Doesn't work. Now the straw is clogged, but I've got another. Want to know why? Because I hate the environment. Now, I'm pretty sure we could add these creamers to these potatoes or this milk, but um, that's cheating and also not super tasty. So, I have no water. That's okay. Okay, so the fork comes into play now. And this is where the real science starts. This is where you have to pay attention. This is where I have to grab the camera and give you a nice close-up. Yeah. <clears throat> also, I'm talking a bit funny because A, uh, ripped up face, and B, I'm in a shared space in the hospital. Doesn't look like a hospital, right? Because this is the pediatric ward. And there's a bunch of happy couples in the other rooms around me. I'm a bit of a black sheep here. I was stuck in this ward because I'm a... Uh, eight hours from home and the roads are really bad and um, I'm alone and so, so, uh, so they put me here. Really, really good hospital. Okay, here goes the mashed potatoes. Now, can't stick it in this side of the mouth because obvious reasons. So we have to put it in this side, but be careful of that tooth, although this is not particularly hot, cold, sweet, nor liquid, so it's a pretty safe thing to start with. 
tips, we'll just uh, wedge it off on the top of the bottom teeth. Uh -huh. And then... <laughs> And then move it to the other side and commence chewing. And you don't even really have to chew potatoes. You can just kind of suck on them and they dissolve. So that's why this blob is half gone before I even started the video. Because I was hungry. Let's try a different method. Let's, uh, let's, uh, what's the word? Let's squeegee it off on the, on the top teeth. I do still have my top teeth. You just can't see them right now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That was an easier transference to the other side because it was over top my tongue, which also thankfully is intact. Okay, now let's try this coleslaw. It's a little bit frightening because look how stringy it is. It's going to get stuck in stitches for sure. But by the way, yes, this is a niche fetish video. And yes, you have a niche fetish. Yeah. <clears throat> My screen just turned off. I'm not sure if that means I've reached recording limit or if uh, I'm just so boring that my oh, someone's coming. I have to go. They might not be coming. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep eating. Um, mixed vegetables. like some edamame here. Mm, not actual edamame, just just green. <clears throat> that was the hardest bite yet. So far, I've done well because nothing has collected in the gums up here. I lie. Something just did with that last bite. Oh, gosh. I don't think that I can show it on camera much as I would like to. I can't open my mouth that wide or stick the camera in the way I would like to. Okay, let's try the fish. As I said, I already ate half of it because I had to practice and I was hungry. So this is gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough because I'm going to add a bit of everything just to prove to you that you can do it. You lose a quarter of your lip, you can still eat. You can still take big bites. Don't sell yourself short, aim for the stars. Now, this requires a different tactic, which I like to call shoveling in. Oh. So you kind of, I don't know if you saw that. Don't worry, I'll do it again. I have to chew with my mouth open. <clears throat> because of the volume of that bite. And there we go. There's a ton of food stuck in my gums now. Don't worry. I will also instruct you. I will also instruct you on how to get that out. This is how. With one finger, hold your gums out of the way as much as you can, or your puffy cheek. With the other finger, Get in there, but start on the far corner. Don't go from the lips or some crazy shit, because you'll tear stitches. Go from the bottom and up. Yeah, and then, and then. There's still a bunch there. <clears throat> Whatever, okay, so, um. So you've seen a little bit of everything from the main entree. Let's try the toast. Because, why the fuck did it? Oh, it's not toasted. It's just a piece of bread. I'm gonna toast it. No, I'm not. 
It's a bad idea. Um, well, just because my face is disfigured and my finger is also hurt, I can still put butter on my bread. It's called silver linings. Now someone's actually standing outside the door and I feel a fool. But you know what? Stranger things have happened in hospitals. This margarine packet is not enough to adequately cover the bread. One star. One star for the margarine packet. That's okay, because there's no way I'm eating more than a couple bites with this anyway. Alright, now we're going to use the shovel technique again. Maybe we should more, we should call it the um, baby bird technique. Although, I wish there was someone here to chew it up for me and spit it in my mouth. I think that would be pretty, pretty cool. Oh, this is actually easy. It's finger food, and so you can, you can actually get it really, like, deep in there easily without clattering around with a metal utensil. Ah, uh, yeah. No, stop talking to me, go away. Oops, <laughs> I turned it off. Um, now you missed that bite, but I already swallowed it. No, let's take another. Oh, man. I can't believe I refused toast from the nurse the first night that my dinner didn't come and I was starving. But she said toast, and I was like, that is hard and crunchy and crumbly. The worst. There's no way. But it's just bread. But she shouldn't have said toast then. She should have said bread. Because you can toast bread, but you can't untoast toast. Delicious. Oh, the bread is the best because it also doesn't really get stuck in your gums because it's such a, a compact thing. It just stays together in a little mushy lump and then goes down your throat. And this other, this other stuff is all modular and diverse. It has many fragments. It's like microfibers in it. In it. There's no way it doesn't get stuck in your gums. Okay, I'm going to take another bite of everything at once just to um, prove I can and because I'm still kind of hungry and want to actually eat enough of this that I'm sated before I get fed up with the whole process. But that's another important part. Don't get fed up. Stay positive. <laughs> fed up. Okay. Shoveling time. I'm just gonna drop this in. Try not to hit anything sensitive. Ah. Uh. Now I'm chewing with my head tilted back, another pro tip, because gravity, and that also keeps it from getting stuck in my gums. I mean, if I just chew on the side with my head upright, then it's, it just works its way up. But doing this, it doesn't. Oh no, the worst has happened. There's food stuck right behind the stitch going against everything I just said. I mean, to be fair, that was the most challenging kind of bite. We can also try um, switching with our tea instead of picking with our finger. This is called braised green cabbage, and the colorful fruits are called Italian vegetables. You see. You see. 
Now for dessert, because I'm done with this shit. I still have all this milk. Yes, that's good, because I'm still hungry. Okay, it is time to find out if Jello goes to restaurant. Look, they cut the jello up in little cubes. That's seems unnecessary. It goes through the straw, but not very well. I don't have a dessert spoon. Look at this. They can have just one spoon. What the fuck? I'm just kidding. I'm very grateful for all of the services here. And, and, and that I've got free healthcare. Oh my gosh, so privileged. How can I even put this online in 2019? This is the best. I just want to eat jello forever. So easy. No chewing, nothing. You just suck on it. Hope it's delicious. Okay, well, that's all, folks. I hope you um, learned something and, and uh, that your life is very much enriched for your new knowledge. Bye. Uh, P.S. Just in case you wanted to know a little bit more about my injury or see a bit more. So um, initially, I had 100% uh, more upper lip. This, this whole part was just the um, left side. And where this big ass seam is, was a, a rip, a hole. Kind of like toothpaste, two face. You could see my teeth through it. And the surgeon, oh, he's such a good guy. He, um, he just stitched the sides together. And that meant the skin up here made this like, big tent shape because there's excess so I don't know what's gonna happen with that it also pushed this side of my nose up so my nose is currently crooked you know in like a weird way not in a broken way but in a you know like can you see it maybe not like this nostril is higher than this one way I think that'll um settle back down once this swelling goes down but yeah it's pretty interesting the nose I'm uh I can't show you because it's got this bandage on it it's probably in my best interests to leave it on, but it's pretty cool. Um, the nose is still there, so that's good. The lip, I found, my mom found, on the road um, after the incident. I was already in the ambulance being taken somewhere, and, uh, and the lip was found, actually it was found the next morning. She said she wasn't sure if it had been run over or not, <laughs> but um, it's winter, so it was frozen, so that's good. And um, she brought it all the way, eight hours from home, driving in the snow. Um, she brought it in case the surgeon could reattach it, but unfortunately it was too late. So, so now what was half of my lip is going to be my whole lip. And it's kind of cool. I'm really excited to see how it heals. I'll kind of probably just look like I have FASD because I have no philtrum left. Um, and that's okay too. Because, you know what? Everyone is valuable. Everyone has strengths. Everyone is wonderful. People with learning disabilities can learn in alternative ways and think in alternative ways, which is a good thing. I have an agenda. Okay, well, um, I think that's about all the information that you need from me. Bye.